Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Analysis YouTube channel. For this particular video, we will be looking at a very important function um, in Microsoft Excel, which is called Consolidate. Okay, so the Consolidate function allows you to combine data from multiple sheets that you find, of course, um, just like we have displayed here. Okay, so you can combine data in multiple sheets to get the sum or the product or even the standard deviation. Okay, so um, bringing this, attaching this to a context for, for those of us that work in the finance department, there is a particular task that is usually required by the tax authorities, which is filing annual returns. And sometimes, most times, or all the time, of course, you, you need to file annual, file annual returns for the employees, which is um, I'm going to show the, the annual returns basically will show all the allowances for that employee and how much contributions have been made to, to pension, to housing. It depends on what contributions are made for that particular organization. And of course, you need to also show the tax that is computed and you need to show the net salaries that was paid at the end of the month. Okay, so this is a task that is required, okay, it's, it's an annual requirement from the tax authorities. And so it still falls down to the finance people of every organization or the accountants to prepare these annual returns and submit at the relevant tax office. So basically, um, we, you need to get the payroll information of all the staff for all the months, okay, and add them up at the different requirements for all the months so that you can get how much was paid as taxes for the year, how much allowances was um, for that stuff for, all, for, for the entire year from January to December, and also the net salaries paid to the staff at the end of the month for one year. We know how daunting this task can be, but it's something that has to happen anyways because it's a regulatory requirement. And even it, even, it gets even more daunting because um, we know what happens throughout the year. Sometimes we have staff who leave the organization. Sometimes we have staff who join the organization in the middle of the year. And sometimes we have changes in salaries due to bonuses or promotions or um, one, one reason or the other. So you can have changes to salaries. So you cannot, in most instances, you cannot just take the tax payable and multiply, multiply by 12. Okay, so for example, if you're trying to file annual returns for this particular personnel, whose name is Dobell, you cannot exactly take um, this tax payable in column J and multiply by, by 12. Okay, you take the January tax payable and multiply by 12 for the entire year. This is because there, there could have been some changes along the line within the year for this particular staff. So a lot of changes happen in the payroll and this is why this task can be very daunting. And it's, of course, when you have a large um, employee base, it's even more challenging. But with the consolidate function, this is very easy to achieve. You can achieve this task within minutes. Okay, so if this is the first time for um, coming to this YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe and hit the like button and also drop a comment in the comment section and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when new videos are uploaded to this YouTube channel. So let us get started. Um, in this particular video, we will also integrate VLOOKUP into Consolidate so that we can see how these both functions can work together to give us even more optimal and efficient results. So we have the payroll information from January to December, okay, in all the sheets just like we have seen, and the sheets have been named with the first three alphabet of the month, okay? We have from January to December. 
And just like we can see here, in January, the staff ID was at the highest, the, the highest one was 15, but then in December, we have up to 24. So, so many changes have happened within the year. In December, we see that staff number two is missing, right? But this person was at the was with the organization at the beginning of the year. So these are the various changes that have happened. So to do the consolidate, um, to use the consolidate function, you need to open a new sheet, just like I have done, okay? And my own sheet is sheet 12, it is a new sheet. I can of course delete this, delete, and create a new sheet just here, just by clicking on this um, plus sign, okay? So the consolidate function is on the home, on the data tab, okay, on the data tab, and it is among, it's one of the functions in the data tools section, and it's right here that says consolidate. So you click on it, and then the consolidate dialog box is up. The function says sum, and when you click on the drop down, you see other options. You can do the count, you can do average, max, mean, product, count numbers, standard deviation, standard deviation, P, variance, and the rest of that. But for the purposes of this particular tutorial, we are focusing on the sum, okay? Because like I mentioned before, we want to get, what was the total taxes paid per staff throughout the year from January to December. So we are looking for the sum. Now we have another section called the reference. So this is where we are going to make our selections, okay? And when we make each of the selection, we just click on add so that all the references will show up here. So we begin from January and I select everything and just notice that I have also selected the um, column headers, right? You need this information because at the end of the day, when the data is consolidated, okay, the column headers will help you to distinguish which, which is what, right? So I've included the column headers. And of course, I included the staff ID as well, okay? And I'm just going to hit add. And I open the next sheet, which is February. And you see that the February um, information is already um, it's already selected for me, okay? And I see that all the information is part of the selection and I hit add. And the next month, which is the month of March, I can see the selection is also done, but one particular, the last staff is left out. So what this means is there was an addition, okay? In the month of March, there was an additional staff. So I just need to redo the selection so that I can include the new staff. And I click on add and I go to the next month, which is April. And I can see that my selection is already done for me. And I click on add and I go to the month of May. And I also see, I've also noticed that there is a new um, staff because of course, one of the staff names is excluded from the selection. And then I redo the selection to include the additional staff, and I click on add. And I go to the next month, which is the month of June, my selection is complete, and I click on add. I go to the month of July, my selection is complete, I click on add. I go to the month of August, my selection is complete, I click on add. I go to the month of September. And of course, I am redoing my selection because it did not include all the staff in the first place. So after redoing the selection, I click on add for the month of October. I've noticed there is an addition. I redo the selection and I click on add and I go to the month of November. I redo the selection because one staff, a new staff is left out and I click on add and I go to the month of December. I see that for December, my selection is complete and I click on add, okay? So all the references have been included right from December, okay, January to December. And of course, you can use the scroll bar over here to see, to just double check if all the months have been captured just like you wanted.
and you can of course delete okay you can delete um, a particular um, selection if it was done by mistake okay so let us see we can of course delete the month of december we can see that the month of december is no longer here okay but i'm quickly going to add the month of december because um we are trying to achieve this from january to december and i click on add okay so i have done all the selections and all the selections are now complete from january to december the next thing i need to look at is use labels in so excel is asking me do you want to use the labels in the top row that's my column headers and do i also want to use the labels in the left column okay of course i want to use the labels there because the labels are the staff names uh, the staff id and i need the staff id to correspond with the value so that i can understand for what staff okay what particular calculation was done and i click on this okay i click on okay and i have this and of course these asterisk signs are showing up because um the values in the columns are way more than the column width so i just had to expand the column width this is what i have and of course i can come here and manually put staff id this is so perfect okay so the information that we have here is the consolidated information if you want to do a quick check, if you go and add the basic salary, okay, for this staff, staff number one, if you add this, the basic salary for all the months from January to December, you're going to have this value. This is so easy, okay? And of course, it took note of all the additions, um, to the payroll that was done in the year and of course like this staff who left sometime along the year it's just giving you the summation of only the information it recognized for this staff id now the next question is who's um who has all the staff id what's the name of the staff that has all the staff id and what are the, what are their positions of course, we cannot come here and do copy and paste because like you see, okay, at some point, some staff left. At some point, some staff were added. So, I mean, it's going to be really tasking. And of course, we do not even have the staff names. We do have the staff names, but it's going to be really tasking to go back and forth. We can just easily use VLOOKUP to help us with this. And of course, we did a full video on VLOOKUP okay and also hlookup and the link to that video is in the description box so if you want to understand the basics of vlookup so please do well to look at that video video to have a really good understanding on vlookup so we are looking up this value okay and our table array so i have an extra file here called master file okay and and i open this and i make my selection I'm looking for the staff name. So the column index number is two, and I use false because I need an exact match, and I just drag down, and this is what I have. Okay, so the master file is basically like um, you have the database of the staff name, the staff ID, and all the staff positions, both the ones who have left and the ones that are still in the organization. And we go to the next and we use VLOOKUP for this as well to get the staff position. And I do this and the lookup value is that. The table array, I refer back to the master file and I select all the way down. And my column index number is three in this situation. And I do false and, I've ha and I have the position of each of the staff. So this is all we have, and this is, of course, all we need. You can, of course, delete the columns that will not be relevant for if it's a tax authority that is requesting for that information. 
you can um, obviously just um, delete um, the column that is not necessary, okay? And um, get the information that you want. Very easy, super accurate. And this is what we do. This is how we this is how we use consolidation to get this in, consolidate function rather to get this information. So thank you so much for stopping by and for um, watching this particular video. Please drop your comments in the comment section about the things you want us to do on this particular YouTube channel. And like I mentioned before, if you're a first time visitor to this YouTube channel, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Drop the thumbs up if you like the content and um, hit the notification bell so that you get notifications about upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.